The Apollo Theater has a new leader for the first time in 20 years. Michelle Ebanks will become president and CEO after holding the same titles at Essence Communications and People and Espanol. Ebanks takes over for Janelle Procope, who spoke with CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell about her tenure and the upcoming transition. I'm so proud of what we've been able to accomplish up until this point. When Janelle Procope was appointed president of the Apollo Theater in 2003, the building had become a shell of its original glory. What possessed you to take on such an undertaking at a time when there was a lot of work to do here? The theater was languishing, but it was the Apollo. It's not something I ever thought about or aspired to. And very often in life, um, these opportunities present and we just step up to the plate. 20 years later, she turns over control to Michelle Ebanks, who comes from the largest media company dedicated to black women, Essence. She's going to be amazing, and I feel gratified. I don't feel um, any reservation because I think that we've laid an excellent foundation. Procope's final bow comes after securing $80 million to complete renovations here and to expand to the stages of Victoria Theatre a few doors down. The fact that we will be a performing arts centre is a monumental accomplishment and I'm so excited because my successor is going to come in and build on that. Over the next few years, you'll notice the upgrades, but Procope promises the Apollo's character will never go out of style. I look at the stage, I look at the Tree of Hope, and I think about just really magical moments over the last 20 years. Among her fondest memories, hearing melodies from artists like Ray Charles wafting into her office. Because I got to come in and sit while they were rehearsing when no one else was here. But those offices will soon move to the Victoria, making way for double the room in the lobby, complete with a cafe. It's going to be amazing because you're going to be able to look in from outside, and people will be in the lobby, not necessarily because they're coming to see a show, but because the Apollo, as it always has been, is a gathering place. Ushering in a new era for Harlem's main stage. Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. Next Monday, the Apollo will host its spring benefit, paying tribute to Tina Turner while honoring Sean Diddy Combs, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Warby Parker. If you have a story that you'd like to share with Jesse, you can email the details to harlemtip at cbs.com.